And Leitenberg has fallen behind Stafford. Mm -mm. And that one hits him on the left hip. And the bases are loaded for Joe York. York flies to center field. That'll be deep enough to score the run. The catch is made. Dade tags up as the throw goes to shortstop. And the Mustangs are on the scoreboard, even though they have yet to collect a hit. Jacob Torres out of Bella Vista High School, a native of Fair Oaks. Swing and a miss. I have a dog here who wants my food. Swing and a miss, a high fastball. Becker could not catch up to it. Six up, six down for Jacob Torres tonight. An at-bat tonight, a couple plate appearances, a, a walk and a sack fly. A bouncing ball towards the middle. It'll bring home a run as Garcia throws low to first, dug out by Dunlap and Joe York. An RBI machine. He's got both for the Mustangs tonight through the first four innings of this game before Jake Steele's Broke through with a single last inning. Boy, Jacob Torres has been nothing short of spectacular. That's eight up and eight down for the Southpaw. Fastball, foul tipped into Ryan Stafford's mitt. Jacob Torres, a brilliant outing from the Mustang bullpen tonight. Nine up, nine down, and five strikeouts in three scoreless. In and mm. that plunked steals for the second time tonight. Fourth time this season. Mm -hmm. Fifth Mustang hit batsman tonight. Big gap in right center. Steals is going on the pitch to throw to second and not in time. Says the third base umpire. Wow. Denver De Brule, very close play. And so Bush with a roll of the dice, he knew that Murray was gonna break for the plate and he almost got the speedy Jake steals at second. Bang, bang play down there. It looked like Jake just got his left hand in and oh, with the double steal, the Mustangs get that run back and now a hit. Danielson, the senior from Eden Prairie, Minnesota and that's off the glove of Bush. Noel scores from third and the Mustangs have tied it in the eighth. And they still only have one hit. Well, it almost hit Ryan Fenn, which wouldn't have been a surprise. But it was not <laughs> gloved by Bush. And a couple of costly, whatever you want to call them, passed balls, wild pitches, have helped Cal Poly pull even here in the home half of the eighth. Infield hit and a hit by pitch to set up this situation. And it's popped up. Foul territory. Joe York. Joe York, Ryan Stafford can't find it. Oh my, but Senator Seguspe does. Look what I found. That would have led to a run. He caught that in fair territory. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. The two all-conference players, Joe York, Ryan Stafford, couldn't find it. Sagusby's so like, yeah, I, I used to do this outfield thing. Look at that. Incredible. Sagusby so was looking at both players, thinking one of them was going to get it. And then he said, I got to get this myself. How each coach manages the pitching staff. Jake Steele's trying to make sure we never leave the ninth inning of this game. He's got both Mustang hits tonight. This one's a one-out single in the home half of the ninth. A ball that gets into one of the corners here. There's also a big gap in right center for Big Joe. He sends a base hit to right center field. Steals, peels around second, on his way to third. And the Mustangs have him at the corners with two down in the ninth. And then getting three in the ninth to win. That's exactly what they do. Dylan Knowles, walk-off single. In his first at bat as a Mustang, he walks off North Dakota State. Cal Poly had one hit through the first eight innings. They string together three singles in the ninth, and the Mustangs beat the Bison 5 4 at Baggett Stadium. 
on the first pitch from Joey Danielson. Oh, Dylan Knowles played a huge role tonight. He scored the tying run in the eighth. He walks off the Bison in the ninth. And the Mustangs split their season opening homestand with two wins and two losses. Textbook hitting from Dylan Knowles with the game winner through the middle into center field. And the celebration is on tonight in San Luis Obispo. The vibes are high as the Mustangs head to Austin, Texas to tangle with the 16th ranked Longhorns this weekend. All three of those games will be on the Longhorns.